Hi, this is David Williams from Okanagan College, and today I want to show you a little bit about base 2 multiplication, which is really no different than base 10 multiplication, except that you're only dealing with the 2 bits instead of the 10 digits, so it actually makes it quite a bit simpler to do base 2 multiplication than base 10 multiplication. Now there's really only four different single bit multiplications you have to worry about. 1 times 1 is 1, 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, and 1 times 0 is equal to 0. No different than base 10 multiplication. Now if we're looking at multi-bit numbers, what kind of things do we have to deal with? Well, let's say we've got the number 1, 1, 0, 1, and we want to multiply it by 1, 1. So whether this is base 10 or base 2 multiplication, we just do the same thing. This might be the number 1, <coughs> excuse me, 1101 times 11. So the multiplication part's the same. We take the first number, first uh, the, the ones column of the second number and multiply it out by all the numbers in the first number, all the columns in the first number. And then we, we uh, multiply by the second number, the tens column and all the, all the numbers in, in the first, first number. But we also have to have to append the zero so that we know we're multiplying by ten instead of by one. But in this case we're multiplying by two instead of by one because remember it's base two number system. So we got one times one gives us one. Then one times zero gives us zero. One times one gives us one. One times one gives us one. For the second column of the second number, to remember that we're multiplying by two instead of by one, we're gonna uh, Put a zero in the first column, and then we've got one times one is one. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. One times one is one. Now we have to add these two numbers together. Hopefully you remember your binary addition. One plus zero is one. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. One plus one is zero. Carry the one. One plus one is zero. Carry the one. One. So. 1, 1, 0, 1 times 1, 1 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now we can do a quick check, converting everything into decimal to see we have everything right. So the number 1, 1, 0, 1 is... What's that, 13? Ah, what happened there? Pressed a button I shouldn't have. 13 times 3 is 39. Now let's see what this number is. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32... Plus 1, 2, 4, plus 4, plus 2, plus 1, 32, plus 4 is 36, 37, 38, 39. Everything checked out. Let's just do one more example. Hopefully you have the idea, you have the gist of everything, but let's put another, do another example where we have some zero bits in the, in the second number. So we'll go, let's say, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, times 1, 0, 0. Now if you know some tricks in multiplication, you'll, you'll, you'll know an easy answer to this, but let's, uh, let's just work through everything anyway. So, the first column, 0 times everything, that's going to give us all zeros. The second column, we have a 0 to start with, and then we've got a 0 times everything, so it's going to give us all zeros. And then the third column, we have to prepend two zeros, and then we're multiplying by one times everything. So one times zero is zero, one times zero is zero, one times one is one, one times zero is zero, and one times one is one. So our answer is one zero one zero 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 zero. Not too much to it. Pretty straightforward. I think the, the trick that you might notice is that we could have just taken our first number here and just added two zeros onto the end of it, just like you would if you were multiplying a number by 100, just add two zeros onto the end of it. Uh, maybe one more example, and then we'll call it quits. A simple one, a few, few fewer digits. 1010 zero, one, zero times... One zero one. So the first column, 
1 times those, so 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1. Second column, we have to add, start with a 0, and we're just multiplying by zeros, by zeros, so these are all zeros. And then the third column, we're multiplying by 1, so 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times, oops, sorry. Yes, forgetting a step. Two zeros there, because we're multiplying not by 1, but we're multiplying by 4, or 1, 0, 0. So we have the two zeros, and then 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1. Then we add everything together. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, and then 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. So a quick double check, 1010 in decimal is equal to 10, and 101 in decimal is equal to 5, which works out to 50. Now what's this number? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 32 plus 16 is 48, plus 2 is 50. So two numbers match up and everything works out. Double checked it, it's the correct. So if you have any questions, please ask your instructor.